Hi, I'm Sheila Jenkins. I'm the president of Network Health Plan. Network Health Plan is an insurance company that is located in Menasha, Wisconsin. We're a wholly owned subsidiary or a member of Affinity Health System, and we provide health insurance coverage to 120,000 residents of Northeastern Wisconsin. At Network Health Plan, we currently have uh, 250 employees. Uh, we've experienced significant growth over the past uh, five, six years. Uh, when I started with Network seven years ago, we had, uh, we provided coverage to about 70,000 uh, residents and now we're up to 120,000. A lot of that growth in uh, our Medicare Advantage products, so we're very pleased that uh, we're able to uh, assist individuals with uh, Medicare in uh, providing them coverage. Actually new, we've uh, rolled out um, three exciting things over the past year. We, uh, in the summer, uh, rolled out to our small employers a small employer wellness product called uh, Wellness Pathways that allows small employers to provide incentives to uh, their employees to live a healthier lifestyle. We uh, expanded our provider panel. Uh, we've added um, ThetaCare as uh, one large health system that wasn't previously in our panel that gives our members more choices in uh, who they would like to seek their health care from. And we also began offering self-funded products. So now an employer can self-fund our uh, range of HMO and point of service group products. As everyone's aware, federal health care reform was passed uh, last March. It's very sweeping legislation. And we're just now starting to see the impact as the federal government begins uh, releasing the regulations. Uh, the largest impact will be felt in 2014 when some of the major provisions of the law kick in, uh, which would be the state exchanges and uh, the incentives to encourage employers to offer insurance and uh, incentives to encourage individuals to take up insurance, or I guess you could say the disincentive not to purchase uh, healthcare insurance. A lot will change uh, from maybe where it was uh, the past year to moving forward with the change in the state administration. Uh, we have been working with the Doyle administration on how uh, the state exchange should move forward and we're anticipating to see where the Walker administration will take that. You know, I'll tell you what the, the biggest challenge is, uh, and it faces all health insurance carriers, is balancing uh, our members' desire for increased benefits with affordability and really focusing on how we help our members become more prudent purchasers of health care services because it is a balance and as costs continue to increase, how do we continue to make it affordable? And that's really something we focus on every single day. Uh, and the other thing that we really focus on is making sure that we're there for our members. Uh, being a local carrier, uh, we're able to have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with our members, which is really important. And I know our members really appreciate. I'm really excited. Uh, there's a lot we can do. Uh, one of the things that healthcare reform has kicked off is a realization that as a healthcare community, we really need to focus on making healthcare more affordable. And being a local uh, health insurance carrier, uh, part of an integrated health delivery system really allows us to put some innovative things in place uh, to help work with the providers, work with our members to start to really focus on reducing healthcare costs.